Kim Korea, Senior Vice President of Human Resources and Administration at General Dynamics, will assume the role of Chief Financial Officer at the company on February 15. MC2 Security Fund, an affiliate of advisory firm The Chertoff Group, has acquired Chicago-based cybersecurity services provider Trustwave in a transaction aimed at expanding the global reach of the latter's managed detection and response offerings. Potomac Officers Club enters 2024 with a selection of can't-miss events to start the government contracting community's year off right. As usual for the organization, the conferences will provide opportunities for attendees to hear from top government officials in their fields. The buzz around the concept of zero trust seems to have reached a fever pitch in recent months. While perhaps an inevitable byproduct of hype cycles, this adoption of terminology demonstrates a fundamental lack of understanding of the need for zero trust. Palo Alto Network's senior vice president Eric Trexler explores in his latest GovCon expert column. HII has secured a $284 million contract modification to continue helping the U.S. Navy maintain and upgrade a Los Angeles-class nuclear-powered fast-attack submarine. CACI International has promoted Nathan Cost from Director to Vice President of Strategic Capture Management. The U.S. Army has issued a request for proposals for a follow-on contract to acquire research and development capabilities in support of the mission of the military branches Space and Missile Defense Command. Robert Mills, a more than 10-year GovCon industry veteran, has been named Vice President of Business Development at ECS. Join Potomac Officers Club's 10th Annual Defense R&D Summit on January 31, 2024. Visit PotomacOfficersClub.com slash events. The Department of Homeland Security's Customs and Border Protection intends to conduct a competition for an indefinite delivery indefinite quantity contract to procure professional workforce support services.